Welcome to this tutorial on how to play 13 by U2. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. I'm going to start out by teaching you the chords. Then we're going to look at the chord progression for the verse and the chorus. So we got a G chord. We have a D chord. We have an A chord. A B minor chord. That's our only bar chord. And we have an E chord. Okay, so to play the G, you're going to have your pinky and your ring finger on the third fret of the B and the high E string. Middle fingers on the third fret of the low E. Index is on the second fret of the A string. Play all six strings. For D chord, your index is on the second fret of the G. Middle fingers on the second fret of the high E. Ring fingers on the third fret of the B string. For B minor chord, you're going to bar your second fret with your index finger from the fifth string down. Your middle fingers on the third fret of the B, ring fingers on the fourth fret of the D, and your pinky slid right under on the fourth fret of the G. That's your B minor chord. For your A chord, you're going to sandwich your middle finger, ring finger, and your pinky on the second fret. So your middle fingers on the second fret of the D. Ring fingers on the second fret of the G, pinkies on the second fret of the B, and then finally for the E chord, your index is on the first fret of the G, middle is on the second fret of the A, ring fingers on the second fret of the D. So we got a G, an E, an A, a D, and a B minor chord. So we're going to start off in the verse with our G chord. So you're going to strum down, down, hold it, go to your D chord, down, down, hold it, G again, back to your D, and if you'd like, you can do this uh, F sharp in the root by adding your pinky onto the 4th fret of the D string, back to your G, and then we're going to go to our A chord. So that's the first part of the verse. So it goes G, D, G, D, back to G again, to D, and to the A chord. So it's really just G, D, G, D, G, D, and then A which transitions into the second part of the verse. And that second part of the verse, after you're done playing this A chord, you're gonna go G, B minor, A, nice and quick like that. So we're gonna go on our G chord, strum down once, B minor, strum down once, A, strum down once. And then you can strum a little bit on that A chord, so down, down, Go back to your G, B minor, A, you can strum it out a little bit. G, B minor, A, you can strum it out a little bit. And then end on your E. And this transitions into the chorus. The chorus, the strumming pattern changes up a little bit and the chord progression as well. So I'm going to go ahead and play it so you can hear it. So it goes. So, we're going to start on our G chord, and the strumming pattern is all down strokes, so down, 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 D chord, down, 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 A chord, down, 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 sounds like this it goes there is a light can always see
Jesus. a couple more verses and chorus and that's really all that's in the song so that's going to be it for this tutorial i know i went through that pretty quickly so if you have questions go ahead and comment below if you'd like to see more tutorials please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching